ABC 7 continues to look into taxpayer funded gas cards and how they're being used by members of the city council. And today city council members were expected to hear recommendations from the city's financial and oversight committee on how to move forward after it was found that some city council representatives were using their gas cards excessively. ABC 7's Leiloba Sitsiro is live in the studio to explain what unfolded today. Leiloba. Yeah, the city's chief internal auditor, Edmundo Calderon, he said the city council would have to wait until Wednesday at 1 p.m. That's when they'll get the full report. He explained that his office has been looking into how members of the city council use those gas cards from January to April of this year. This is in addition to the years 2020 and 2021, which he's also been asked to look into. Calderon explained to city council members that they'd have to wait just a couple more days to learn about his findings because he needs time to brief the Financial Oversight and Audit Committee. That's who he reports to. We expect that the committee will make recommendations on any corrective actions and policies. Now, we ask Calderon to explain what goes into an investigation of this magnitude. We're not looking for spikes in usage. We're looking at overall usage and how the entire city council used the fuel cart program in those four months that we've already analyzed. Now, as we've been reporting, an audit, an audit found excessive use in 2022 by District 3 Representative Cassandra Hernandez and former District 6 Representative Claudia Rodriguez. Hernandez has since repaid some of that money, uh, $6,700 that she used in gas purchases. And now you may recall, Mayor Oscar Lisa told us in an exclusive interview that Calderon felt pressured to change his report. Well, we asked him about that. You'll want to hear his response. That's coming up at 6 o'clock. Lilo Basitiro, ABC7. All right, Lilo.